Welcome to the latest Stage Analysis video. It's Monday the 20th of February 2023. I've got a lot to get through today. We've got an extended weekend with the, the holiday markets closed today. So I wanted to, uh, videos a day later than normal. I want to get through a fair few things tonight. I can start off with the, some of the, the Stage 2 breakout attempts that we've seen recently and some stocks that are, are close to stage two breakouts or might have broken out within the last couple of weeks go through some of those on, on multiple time frames in the first part of the video get before getting on to the the major market indexes the industry group relative strength rankings see what's moving in there what the top 10 bottom 10 is etc before getting into the bell curve industry group bell curve to see the the overall stages of the market and the the general shifts and the, the key market breadth indicator is really important in the stage analysis method, probably the, the most important part of the stage analysis method, often ignored by, by other people, but definitely 100% the most important part of you are using the stage analysis method, especially on, a, as an in, on the investor method. And then the watch list. And I wanted to finish off today with a little look at what's been going on with some of the major crypto coins. As one of the members has asked me to cover that again recently, we have seen some recent stage two breakout attempts in a number of the crypto coins including including bitcoin itself so i'll have a quick run through those at the in the, the final part of the video so obviously anyone watching this after a recording you can you can skip to whatever sections you want like via the the chapters bar at the bottom which is in the, the bottom right of the video bar or you can use the along the bar itself you can just jump along the section on sections in the timelines so as I said, starting off tonight with the, the stage two, potential stage two breakout attempts or stocks that have already moved into early stage two, etc. in the last couple of weeks that might have started popping on earnings, etc. So Airbnb, first one up tonight. So looking at this, I've been highlighting this in the watch list for recently before the before the earnings came out, highlighted again on the earnings night as soon as it started pushing through the, the stage two breakout level with this level here. So if we look at this on a on a lower time frame, so we got the the gap up move through here. So in the after hours, started to move through this this here area. Didn't open until the next day, up to around the one thirty area. But this is your your stage two breakout level in the after hours. As soon as it started moving through, so it's been building the the base structure for a while. You can see the classic Wyckoff structure in here. You're selling climax or make rallies, some secondary testing, we had a up thrust, and then uh, a little bit of a, a spring shakeout type move here, a bit more of a terminal shakeout, what's known as a spring number one before starting to move through higher lows, pushing through all the Wyckoff entry zones through here of phase C and phase D of the, the final part of the structure here before starting pushing through the, the 200 day moving average and starting to make some pivots. So we did have an initial pivot above the 200 here, but this secondary move only a few days later became the major level to watch with earnings coming up. So obviously this is, as I said, this is your, your stage two breakout area through, which is currently holding, did have a fairly strong pullback, 5.61% on Friday's action there. So it didn't end the, the week as strongly as, as it could. It did quite a bit of a, a squat at the end of the week there, but it is did hold the stage two breakout level, still in the upper half of the weekly bar there. So still a fairly strong move on the week, 20.88%. Didn't quite clear old resistance but did clear the, the start of the, the top of the range area. So big volume on that, but obviously a lot of that will also be in this, this squat bar here where it started to pull back again. So 3.44 times the 10 week average volume. You can use different stage analysis. The original book said use the four week um, average volume, but I've always preferred longer longer time scales i use the 10 week most of the time but i also look at the 52 week average volume which gives you a, a general proxy of what's going on with the with the volume so it gives you a, you can look at how the volume compares to the entire last year's worth of volume so it gives you a, you want to see at least ideally on a stage two breakout we look for at least two times the average weekly volume but you don't always get it so as i said on the on the daily chart there we've got this initial move into stage two here and we'll see if it can follow through this week and start to start to push a little bit higher if it can't starts to pull back in immediately then obviously you could have a failed breakout you could start to, this could turn into a, what we call a utad up thrust after distribution and could start to pull back into the range and turn into a short in that case so using the the wyckoff short entry points following a utad so 
stage two can also be the ideal short entry point if it fails. So always always be aware of that as it's very important, especially if you're getting into a, a stage two breakout attempt that is, is extended as it can easily turn into a short if the breakout attempt fails, if it's come a long way during its base structure. Move on to the, the next one. We've got ADI, so this potentially broke out into stage two a few weeks ago. You can see through this level here, still hadn't cleared some near-term resistance levels through here at that point. So a more clear breakout attempt this week as it moves off to new highs as well, clearing the old old high. If we go back to the, the daily chart here, you can see a bit more clearly. Again, been highlighted through the, the watch list over the, the course of the last few months as it started to develop in this sort of cup and handle type pattern that it's formed but pushing up been holding above this 200 day moving average started to move out but again we've got this this earnings gap move in the after hours and pushed through and let's pull back into the the bar on friday there thursday friday on some on some diminishing volume but in the short term we look at the free atr levels here you can see we've got above the free atr level on the, the gap up move there on the earnings so it's a little bit extended in the short term here so be looking for it to, to consolidate get the, the moving averages a bit of time to to come back in or potentially if it starts to fall back below the low of the breakout move there that'd be a bit of a sign of weakness but we'd be looking for it to obviously hold the the breakout level and not drop back below that 180 level ideally but ideally want to see it hold above the low of the of the gap up next up auto nation again broke out about three weeks ago here again been coming up in the watch list and some strong moves if we drop down to the daily chart here again you can see the dropped draw our lines across stage two breakout attempt potentially happened through this kind of area here as it started to push up maybe if you're really pushing it here from the highs you could say that was the breakout point it doesn't ultimately matter too much you're just looking for the the change of behavior as we move from stage one into potential stage two you can see it's obviously now breaking with looks like an earnings gap move again on this one so moving off to new highs but once again you can see how extended it is from this 21 day moving average here get the atr levels on you can see it pushed well above the free atr level potentially four atr above it's 21 day moving average which is extremely extended in the short term so if you're looking for this to to tighten up consolidate a bit of vcp type action potentially give it a bit more time for the the averages to to catch up a bit bito so this is a, a bitcoin etf so with the as I said earlier in the video, we've had stage two breakout attempt in Bitcoin a, a while ago now, about five weeks ago. So it's been moving well, made a continuation breakout attempt this week. And so the, the Bitcoin ETF here following suit and attempting to move into early stage two itself. Not as convincing yet with the with the breakout move. You can see the 30 week moving average has just turned up, had been in a obviously a strong decline through late 21, 2022. But attempting to obviously track what bitcoin itself is doing but obviously the, the stocks do have a huge amount of tracking error the etf versions of these so you generally want to trade the the crypto coins themselves rather than the the etfs but obviously just highlighting the fact that it is attempting to move into stage two the crsr this one i talked about a couple of times last week as well as it started to move up testing the, the stage two breakout levels on this you can see trying to move through resistance here obviously the ultimate stage two level so potentially you could argue it's already early stage two here we go to the the daily so it's pushed above a near-term pivot so that's your potential stage two breakout attempt what was that friday thursday wednesday tuesday on monday obviously attempted the week before on the friday which is why it was highlighted last week in the watch list but hasn't yet cleared the ultimate resistance levels here still in the, the turbulent zone of the the resistance range here you can see it's attempting to move higher but again a bit short term extended here the 280 ATR level but could could potentially run further there still got some some room to maneuver so we could see a a bigger stage two breakout attempt we can get a push up into the old resistance zones in the, the low 20s here be looking for some kind of backup move following that give you a potential secondary entry zone to to attempt look for on that 
um, Cisco. So obviously this one was a, a popular stock a long, long time ago. Don't expect big things out of it if it ever moves into stage two, like we saw in 2021 here, had a good good stage two run through this area here before starting to, to break down, change of behavior, moving into stage three type behavior. But you can see it wasn't a huge move on the percentage basis. So don't expect huge things from this. If we look from a swing move here, you can see we got from about 38 to 49. So 11 on top of 49, so up to, target of around 60 from the the size of the the range just using the the swing rule on that one but it is attempting to move into stage two nonetheless so it is a potential with big volume that goes into that draft kings another one this week that's been coming up quite a lot so started to move into stage two you can see it's broken these three near-term pivots here like multiple pivots and the, the lower level there so three significant near-term pivots here so start this is your your stage two breakout level to watch even though it's not yet clear of the ultimate resistance so you can see relative strength versus the s p 500 is just moving above what's known as the zero line which is the 52 week moving average of the, the stock divided by the s p 500 so you can see it's just starting to outperform as it moved into mid january here we drop down to the, the daily chart on this one again you can see these these levels that are highlighted here so this is your your levels zones of resistance in the near term from the last four months so this is your, your stage two breakout area so starting to push up and through over the last couple of days at the end of last week but as i said not yet clear through resistance here could easily just moving into that the top of the the august high there so resistance and extended in the short term so above it's at its free atr level so highly would expect some sort of consolidation potentially coming back in so between the 21 and the 18 range ideally would want to see it consolidate and develop the moving average is a chance to catch up here the 50 day is still below the 200 day moving average here you can see this volume was big on friday but obviously it had a 15 percent move a lot of that happened in the after hours low so definitely a lot of short-term distribution in that bar as well so as i said we can expect to be looking for some kind of consolidation pullback bcp whatever to develop in that Lastly, another early mover into stage two. It's been highlighting this one multiple times in the watch list over the last few months as it's started to develop a small base structure. So it's a very small base structure after such a deep stage four decline. But you can see if we drop down onto the daily in here, so it got recommended in the watch list. I think it was would have been this day here to move through the 21 day and on the, uh, either that one or that one somewhere around here might have been i'm not sure about all of those i think it was definitely this these two days i think i started recommending it in here the pullback day in here that's another one it did and then on the pullback move in here so they're the four days potentially that was highlighted in the watch list from memory so you can see the the stage two breakout move on this day here the gap up and then then run it's moved quite strongly but the idea with this is you want to with stage analysis with the watch list try to highlight stuff as it develops within a base structure so whether it's still only just very early in the base structure we start tracking it so in this here is what we call stage 4b minus where it looks like it's potentially put in a selling climax and we're moving into an automatic rally so this is phase a of a potential base structure so very early not much of a phase b in this we've got spring in here so phase c into phase d here so moving up and through sign of strength rally pulling back in and obviously came back into the range a little bit but moved up strongly so there's your stage two breakout but it's a very very small base structure by comparison to the stage four decline so if we go back to the weekly chart here as i've said with this one because of the depth of this stage four decline and length of it basically two years in stage four obviously we're going to run into significant areas of resistance you've got this significant bar here so across that 20 into the uh, low 20s is going to be a significant zone of resistance if it starts to get up into that range so in the near term so we'd expect this to start to pull back and consolidate and give it a, 
chance for these moving averages to catch up a little bit. But it is attempting to move into stage two. Did have a 61.09% move on the week. So huge move in the near term. But it's a very, very tentative move into stage two with such a, as I said, such a deep stage four decline. There's going to be a huge amount of resistance for this one to deal with. So more of a, a short term traders one than a longer term, even though it is effectively in in early stage two so as there's going to be some obviously significant chop in that one if it does manage to start moving up into stage two htgc move into stage two here more convincingly tempted this week but didn't quite make it convincingly so more convincing this time close above multiple levels here so decent volume on the week relative strength making some new highs as well here so compared to the price action you can see the price action at this point in here compared to the relative strength so that's a we call a, a divergence in the in the relative strength there you can see obviously the relative strength is getting stronger while the price action is still at a lower level so it's generally what you you want to see with a on a breakout attempt so that one again it's a financial sp I'm not sure what group s peers maybe special something i can't remember special financial something but it's it's definitely starting to move into early stage two but again extended in the near term we look at it on the atr levels here once again hitting that free atr level capping 7.69 percent on the, the final day there on some volume so once again we'll be looking for this one to potentially start to start to form the backup whether it consolidates at the higher level or it starts to, to come back into the, the backup range, form a broader broader structure, who knows. But let's say you ideally with moves like this, you want the big volume bars here, see these two bars. You ideally don't want to see it start to come back below these bars as this is where people have got more involved more significantly. So these are the significant levels to watch and that is actually your, your stage two breakout level as well. So if we do get a backup in this, you don't want it to drop back below that 14.75 kind of area on a rough sort of look at it there. Hubs, another one attempting to move out into early stage two, had a really big stage two advance through 2020, 2021, breaking down into stage four with a massive move. Then obviously your, your secondary zone, as it pulled back to the 10 week moving average and reverse lower again in the on the short side. A big stage four decline has been in this, what we call an axis line here. So since early 2022, this level has been tested multiple times on the, the downside here, multiple times. And then on the upside, couldn't manage to get to it at this point. Obviously tested it again, tested it again recently, and now still haven't got through it. So this is our, our key level, what we call our, the axis line. But you can see the um, 52 week moving average, the zero line here, just starting to turn down a little bit again. It did start to flatten a tiny bit, but we have it's starting to outperform the S&P 500. If we drop down to the, the daily chart here, you can see is fairly significantly above the 200 day moving average here. The red line is the 200 day moving average. Moving averages have got back in the right order. So it has potentially already moved into stage two here and moving higher, but it just hasn't cleared the resistance zone as yet. So as I said, that major significant resistance. So be looking for it to develop, potentially pull back into this range maybe if it can't push through that in the near term be good to see as you can see as a there's a big big cup look to this so we may need to form some kind of handle before it pushes out if it pushes out that is but obviously stage two for a, a cut back four weeks now in that one LH, this one, Laboratory Corporation of America Holdings, just attempting to move into stage two recently, did have an initial breakout attempt, failed at the, the axis line here. So to pull back in again, came back into the range and has now pushed back up again. So it is in early stage two, hasn't yet cleared resistance. So again, we drop down to our daily levels here. You can see the, the stage two breakout attempt on the daily, which as I've said before, Rough guide with a, a stage two breakout level is you get a, a decent 
pivot above the 200 day moving average then that generally becomes your your stage two breakout level to watch it doesn't necessarily have to clear all resistance levels as you can see you've got a, a broader range which it hasn't yet cleared on this side so it's still within the, the broader base structure but doesn't mean it can't be in stage two just uh, the levels aren't that horizontal it's like it's more ev the stages are more relative to the 200 day moving average here so if that 200 day moving average was flattened out then this would obviously look this would be much further above this level than it is currently so this is your, your stage two breakout as i said and we've pulled back in held the 50 day moving average and we've got this big reversal looks like it was on earnings move hasn't yet cleared the the highs yet friday obviously our up day still plus 0 0.707 there so compared to the the market pullback so looking for this one to to make a continuation attempt and move into stage two more convincingly pcor also with a stage two breakout attempt this week into the old ipo week low so squatted at the end of the week so heavy volume in there so a bit of distribution in that one as well as it broke out on heavy volume as i said all that volume isn't just good accumulation volume there there's always two sides to the trade and when you get a squat candle like that then obviously it's showing some signs of distribution in there as well so some certainly some resistance which could cause it to, to pull back into the range but it could form the secondary backup entry again if we drop down to a daily here you can see that got multiple levels through here which on a rough scale we start to push across these this is your your stage two breakout our level through here 60 to 62 kind of area so it doesn't have to be that specific always people obviously look for clean lines and whatnot but you don't always get them it's kind of you just start to see a, a change of behavior so here at the start of the base structure you've got your selling climax got a, a change of behavior automatic rallies then it's pulled back in again we've got a local spring through here and it started to push back up again and this has gone through multiple levels of resistance here so this is potentially a stage two breakout or if you want to be more finicky you could say it was here but it doesn't really matter as i've said before we just want to see that we've had this change of behavior again so you had the change of the behavior from the the downtrend into the basing structure and now we've got a change of behavior which is now potentially sending us into a new uptrend so this potentially could need to pull back in a little bit come to the secondary entry zone maybe and then push out some more higher so if we look at it again on the weekly that would look something like this but roughly who knows what's going to go on here but you never know there is it's meeting resistance at the moment is all you know obviously it's attempting to move into stage two so it's showing obviously some near-term strength but it's meeting near-term resistance PLTR another one this it's got a lot of likes this week when I posted the chart with the attempt to move into into stage two but it is one of the worst stage two breakouts of the week from my opinion it might have had a, a decent move on the week but did squat at the end of the week hasn't yet cleared multiple resistance zones there's a big stage four decline still testing around the original ipo low week so it's not yet through resistance so i would say although technically even on the daily chart it made a, a stage two breakout attempt with this day obviously pulled back into it immediately so it's it's testing the stage two level but it hasn't quite got there yet you can see it's broke some, some near-term levels here we'll go back to the weekly chart on this can see we need to see a, a strong move through this ten dollar level start to, to push up and out a little bit more convincingly but as i said this one's going to need it's another one with significant overhead resistance so if it does start to move up you could get a 20 to 50 percent move up to the to 15 level here so into this old resistance potentially but obviously that would then potentially encounter significant resistance in that area we've got the some of those trapped stage four buyers that are still hanging around that want to get out even so it could start to form some kind of higher base structure might need to consolidate and go sideways for a while or it may fail here and start to come back into the range altogether may not obviously break out into stage two convincingly at all so at the moment it's just testing the level so like i said i was i was surprised by how many people like this one over some of the other stage two breakouts which were which were much better so 
it's obviously just shows the the popularity of the the software type stocks the growth type stocks that people obviously like to trade the can slim types so i guess i must have a lot of those that follow me compared to other obviously the more the more boring like areas of the market so rblx another one also was quite popular but didn't quite make it into stage two testing the stage two level again on the daily technically made a stage two attempt it's broken out above the near-term pivot but there are some other near-term levels here hasn't this was a real close level so i'd actually say this is the 47 to 48 area here you'd want to see a strong move through there so potentially technically moving into early stage two here you can see we draw a trend line through so it's a breakout through there as well so you can see the downward channel here you can see a near-term buying climax or mac um, reaction secondary testing smut thrusts spring type actions you've got a down sloping channel in its stage one structure starting to move up change of behavior back up moving out so but so early stage two but some weakness thursday friday there as it came back in again some volume on that weakness too so could just continue to trundle down into this gap hasn't yet convincingly moved out into stage two but it is attempting it's making the attempt but again it's underneath this ipo week low so we need to see that broken convincingly and then that would give it much more conviction that it's moving out into stage two tdc number one early stage two breakout attempt much more convincing move there 20.78 percent clear skies breaking through some levels obviously it is in a resistance zone here so if it does start to come back underneath this 40 level then may need to form a obviously a higher base structure through here so we'll see how that develops look at it quickly on the on the daily chart here you can see it was a strong breakout move with not much pullback so this is our significant bar so we don't want to see this bar obviously violated by at least half of it ideally if it starts to come back to the bottom of the bar that's a signal of weakness so if we do get a pullback move it comes back in we don't want to see it come much underneath this this 38 level ideally that could potentially form a, a backup move if it does come back into there so free atr levels you can see it pushed above the free atr level completely there on wednesday once it got extended and it's starting to pull back in again so we want to see it start to start to develop in this this range potentially TD, TTD, final one of these stage two breakout attempts here. So attempting to move into early stage two again. You can see we've had obviously, the marked up chart here, failed attempts to move down into stage four, up thrust after distribution at the top here, failed stage two continuation breakout to new highs for a couple of weeks and then rolled over. So you can see the UTAD and the lower high starting to move back into the range. You've got your Wyckoff short entry points as it comes back into the range, starts to make a stage four breakdown, pull back in immediately low, obviously start to come down again and chop its way down so really choppy one this big change of behavior back in july june july there is it's moved into stage one but as with most initial moves into stage one it then spends a lot of time actually just drifting lower again back below the 30 week moving average this one a little bit more extreme than most as it tested the bottom of the range again so making that that stage two breakout attempt as i said starting to pop through the the breakout level there has pulled back you want to see it hold this 58 level at the moment here right let's move on to the let's move on to the 